back gate is open again. I wonder what's going on. There's a big diesel being worked on over there. Ah, the big boat's going in. Oh, it was raining yesterday, so uh, he unfortunately hasn't managed to finish yet. Bit of a wind today, although it's uh, quite warm. The yard's looking pretty full, as you can see. Well, these bits survive the rain. We'll pull the peel ply off. Looks good. And this bit. We'll do a bit of a sand to level things up. And sand this bit. We're getting there. Right, a lot of stuff on the putty knife. Application of grinder should sort it. Oh, much better. The polyester filler. It's going on epoxy and will be covered by epoxy bare undercoat. So here. And a skim coat over these two. I found another bit. This is on the foredeck on the other side. So it's quite wet. Uh, glass is still intact. But once again it obviously was never prepared properly for the undercoat. Well, I had hoped to uh, put undercoat on the bits I've prepared but no point because I need to fix this one. Well, it's a case of getting back to where it's all solid. Well, we can see there is undercoat. So these bits is undercoat, but uh, doesn't look like anyone bothered sanding the glass before they put it on. I'll sand these bits and then go over and deal with the new discovery. So they're sanded. Here's sanded. But that's the problem. We're back to feather at the edge. Looks like the original undercoat or primer blue must have been the original paint of the boat and then sanding back the kiwi grip so the whole thing's been sanded and keyed uh, blended in so once again we'll pop some epoxy on uh, we'll put some epoxy around this which is the hatch above my stern cabin on the starboard side I understand they're waiting for high tide uh, to launch so we're on springs at the moment because I'm sure she draws a fair bit uh, It's Wednesday afternoon we've got some heavy showers every now and then so may not be able to do much on deck the uh, big uh, yacht obviously made it in I've been shopping again more sanding pads some rope glides thinking about using them for the Jenica Code Zero sheets and three more meters of peel ply as I've virtually run out now um, still getting rain but I've been thinking about these uh, Genica Code Zero sheet uh, cutouts and I'm not 
convinced I have a good solution at the moment. Now the current plan is to insert uh, these in. I initially thought about these fair leads, but there's not actually enough room uh, to fasten them. I've got these biometallic metal cutting blades for the multi-tool. Now we just got to think of some way of fastening it. Oh, I think good old 291 should probably do the job. Well, there's the idea. We'll do the same on uh, this, which is the starboard side. Still haven't hot knifed the hole on the uh, actual clear yet. Oh, there we go. It's in a different position because of the, the fact it wraps onto the winch around this side. Uh, whereas on the port, it wraps around the front side. Uh, temporary lull in the rain, so we'll pull the peel ply off. Certainly looks like it survived without the rain last night causing trouble. Needs a good sand, but uh, too wet to do it at the moment. And I think it's time to take some rubbish to the skip. Oh, I'll just pop in here, which is the port engine bay, just to check the oil level. Oh, I've taken the oil, used engine oil to the oil recycling uh, tank. Believe it or not, I've done a wee bit of tidying up. I've now got a saw back, so I think that's it. Crane up at Cullum's. So it's uh, Friday afternoon. Just had a small rain shower, I'm hoping to get some paint on, so we'll just have to wait and see. Looks like we have got another cat coming out at some stage. The A-frame cat that we've uh, seen out a few times, he's still here. Uh, I think he was hoping to be back in. We'll uh, have lunch and cross our fingers. We'll do some sanding. The main benefit of the epoxy is to level the surface up because of course it's lower where we're missing the coatings and we'll do a skim of polyester filler over it and it's starting to rain again. I don't think it will last long. It's quite cold. dry. I suppose I better remember to take off the tape on here. The reason the anti-fouling is different is the white is copper free around the aluminium sail drives and the black is copper based. Going on the theory that uh, between showers we might be all right, we'll mix up some epoxy barrier undercoat. Now as it's designed to be sprayed, we will pop some brushing thinner in with it. Now we'll do all these bits that we sanded and masked up 
wing stake. So we'll sand this and then put undercoat on it. Sand it and ready for undercoat. Undercoated. Now this is not getting top coated with poly polyurethane. It gets the uh, Kiwi grip on top. Now we need to sand these bits. These bits are now ready for epoxy barrier undercoat. keep finding bits to touch up. So we'll do that stern. One starboard one just needs the edge done. Oh, well, it's Saturday, so the weather's suggesting we might be able to get some paint on. We haven't had a dew, it's not exactly warm, but we should get a couple of coats on. So this is the polyurethane. That's a three to one mix. Oh, we'll do a light sand on the undercoat. Well, that's done. Head down now and do the uh, stern ends of the boarding platforms. Well, both of those are done. Well, believe it or not, we're tidying up. We need a truck to take stuff home, but uh, I've now rationalised the boxes. I've got a big bag of rubbish modelled by Grandad. Another lot to the skip. Thought we'd come and see the earthworks. So retaining wall, it's actually been pinned back about to where the diggers parked. The Orma 60, which came out when we were out last year, uh, seems to be slowly progressing with whatever they're doing to it. Closest to us is a wooden mast. Uh, the next one is the mast off the warmer being repainted, old technology aluminium. A few masts have been here for quite a while. That second coat, there's a little bit just on here. I'm still tidying up, but uh, it is actually looking tidier, except every time I need something, it's been packed away. <laughs> uh, it's this white enamel uh, above the galley, where I put two holes through to ventilate the dead space in the window. I'll just touch that up. Right, this is where I need to touch up. I'll reinstate the rubbing strip for the mooring lines at the front crossbeam. Cut one in half, drilled an extra hole, and then mounted it. I've done the starboard one, so they're 50% longer than they were. And the mooring lines are attached around the Samson posts. Need a hole here for the Jenica Code zero sheets, hot knife again. May not be pretty, but it's there. 
And I'm just going to put a bit of corking in here. I think we'll pull this off and replace it, but they can wait till next year. Sun. Yeah, very nice. And hot. I'll do the same here on the starboard side. Oh, that should keep it sealed the rest of the season. Still got some oxalic acid made up from cleaning the water line. Still have a few rust, rust spots left over from when we had a cut. And go have a nice shackle off. And here's a close up of the windscreen. So we need a new windscreen. They can wait till next year now. And if I'm going to make it out of glass, it's going to have to be straight. So it'll need new blocking at the bottom anyway. Well, it's afternoon tea time. Uh, we have a nice day now. So it's uh, four weeks and a bit until the boat goes back in and I'm determined to finish early. So we've done all the must-dos, uh, almost all the should-dos, and uh, I think we'll start on the big tidy up, already started downstairs. So tomorrow should be Kiwi Grip and start tidying up in the cockpit. I need to replace the lower anchor light. Well, that's not so good. A broken rudder, bent rudder shaft. Well, we've actually made a start to tidying up the cockpit. You can actually see some seats here and there. Uh, time to head home, me thinks. Well, it's Sunday. I'm going to go and see whether the gloss has been retained on the white we did yesterday. Well, we've had a heavy dew. I think we've lost some gloss, but not too bad. Yeah, looks fine. Well, we're going to have to let the dew uh, dry off, but uh, I a almost empty tin, a four litre tin of Kiwi Grip and a one litre tin. So we'll be aiming to put that on shortly ish. I have the gloopy roller. Yeah, doesn't look very pretty, but it will stir up just fine. Second coat on this bit over here. I'll take the masking off here so you can see it really has been heavy dew. Oh, here's the bit where we spelt the primer uh, for the uh, windows. Oh, we've had a uh, rough sand uh, wiped with uh, alcohol.
I did a little bit more. Uh, pretty obvious at the moment, but as quickly as it dries, it fades in. And then it becomes dirty like everything else. These sticks have been patched before. I got carried away and did this bit here, side decks off camber. And the most risky part of the boat. So nice new non-skid underfoot would have to be good. 